Hydrocephalus ex vacuo. What is termed hydrocephalus ex vacuo occurs when there is damage to the brain caused by stroke or injury, and there may be an actual shrinkage of brain substance. Although there is more CSF than usual, the CSF pressure itself is normal in hydrocephalus ex vacuo. Hydrocephalus is an abnormal buildup of cerebrospinal fluid CSF in the ventricles of the brain. The fluid is most often under increased pressure and that pressure can compress and damage the brain. Hydrocephalus can arise before birth or any time afterward. It may be due to many causes including a birth defect, hemorrhage into the brain, infection, meningitis, tumor, or head injury. Most forms of hydrocephalus are the result of obstructed CSF flow in the ventricular system. With birth defects, physical obstruction of CSF flow in the ventricular system is usually the cause of the hydrocephalus. Hydrocephalus is a common companion of spina bifida meningomyeloceal. Normal pressure hydrocephalus and pH can occur due to a gradual blockage of the CSF drainage pathways in the brain. Although the ventricles enlarge, the pressure of the CSF remains within normal range. And pH is characterized by memory lost in mentia balance disorder ataxia urinary incontinence and a general slowing of activity. In old age or persons with Alzheimer's disease, the entire brain may shrink and the CSF fills up the space created by the shrinkage. This is not due to hydrocephalus. The diagnostic signs and symptoms of hydrocephalus depend upon the age of the person. In infants the most obvious sign of hydrocephalus is usually an abnormally large head. That is one reason a baby's head should be measured that every well baby visit. Symptoms of hydrocephalus in an infant may include vomiting, sleepiness, irritability, and inability to look upwards, and seizures. In older children and adults there is no head enlargement from hydrocephalus, but symptoms may include headache, nausea, vomiting and, sometimes, blur vision. There may be problems with balance, delayed development in walking or talking, and poor coordination, irritability, fatigue, seizures, and personality changes such as an inability to concentrate or remember things may also develop. Drowsiness and double vision are common symptoms as hydrocephalus progresses. Treatment of hydrocephalus involves the insertion of a shunt to let the excess fluid exit and relieve the pressure on the brain. The shunt is a flexible plastic tube with a one-way valve. The shunt is inserted into the ventricular system of the brain to divert the flow of CSF into another area of the body, where the CSF can drain and be absorbed into the bloodstream. The prognosis outlook with hydrocephalus depends the cause and the timing of the diagnosis and treatment. Many children treated for hydrocephalus are able to lead normal lives with few, if any, limitations. In some cases, cognitive impairments in language and non-language functions may occur.